An unusual church service. Christians forced to pray on the street under heavy police protection. Their church in West Java was closed by the authorities after pressure from Islamic groups. By praying in the open, they want to put pressure on the authorities to guarantee their fundamental rights. It is absolutely the failure of the state, the government. It is the very right of the citizen for each and every citizen by our constitution. We have the right to worship our God according to our own belief. Christians praying on the sidewalk right in front of the closed off church, heavily guarded by police. They're asking the government to make more efforts to protect the Christian minority in Indonesia. The church was built in a predominantly Muslim neighborhood, not unusual in a country where 90% of people identify Islam as their religion. The fragile balance between religions here in West Java is being tested. Why don't they find a place where no Muslims live? This is a Muslim base. It's up to them where they want to build their church, just not here. Attacks against Christians are on the rise. In the past two weeks, a Muslim mob burned down a Christian center in West Java after rumors spread that a church was to be built. Christian organizations say 20 churches have been forced to close this year, compared with seven closures in the whole of 2009. A Catholic school came under attack after it was accused of spreading anti-Islamic propaganda. Out of fear, the headmaster decided to close the school temporarily. Most of the attacks are being blamed on small violent groups like the Islamic Defenders Front. During a recent protest, some Muslim groups vented their anger at what they call Christian provocations. They blame Christians for posting anti-Islamic messages on the Internet. Emotions ran very high. <laughs> If the government won't do anything to stop them, we will just burn their churches. According to the government, recent attacks are no sign of growing religious intolerance. They say it's politically motivated with regional elections coming up. Banning militant groups who use violence or even call for violence is not on the agenda. If he has already burned a church, we can punish him. But before that, we cannot do anything. But morally, it is wrong to make such threats. The government stance is doing little to eliminate a growing climate of fear, where minorities like these Christians in West Java will have to fight harder for rights that others can take for granted. Step Fasten, Al Jazeera, West Java.